My name is Daniel Wilson, and today I'll be introducing SkyMaster, a Simulink-powered autopilot for unmanned aerial vehicles. So what does SkyMaster do? Well, when installed in an aerial platform, SkyMaster takes control of the vehicle to carry out a specified mission with complete autonomy. Here, we have a typical fixed-wing application, which will be used throughout this presentation. Now here's the custom printed circuit board. It comprises everything necessary for autonomous flight, which includes a microcontroller, an array of sensors, onboard data logging, and a connector for communications, actuation, and power. The good news here is that the hardware development occurs offline and is largely non-iterative, so refinement is not normally necessary. On the software side, we are running a real-time operating system on board the microcontroller to handle tasks such as sensor sampling, configuration, data logging, and ground communications. Like the hardware, development of these modules only requires one pass. The same cannot be said, however, for the heart of SkyMaster, the Guidance Navigation and Control, or GNC module. Here, development requires iterative field testing, analysis, and refinement. This process generally consists of implementing the GNC algorithms in simulation, converting them to an embedded language, compiling them with the autopilot software, and then testing. The main bottleneck in this process is the manual conversion from high-level simulation to an embedded language. Not only is this process slow, but it's difficult and often induces errors, which don't show up until the flight testing phase. When developing complex aerial systems, problems here can be the difference between success and failure. Now this is where Simulink earns its licensing fees. Simulink negates these issues by combining simulation, code generation, and algorithm validation in a single streamlined step. Not only is embedded code automatically generated with a single click, but all algorithm development and testing can occur in a high-level graphical environment. Simulink reduces a time-consuming, tedious, and error-prone process to just a few mouse clicks. So how does this work? We begin with a simulation, running in real time and showing a visualization of an aircraft, as well as a scope, comparing bank with a bank command. In the simulation, we can modify the bank command and analyze the response of the aircraft in real time. This allows us to develop and tune the GNC algorithms offline without risking any aircraft. And this is where all the autonomy happens, in the GNC block. Inside, we can see separate models of guidance, navigation, and control. The beauty of this inherent modularity is that provided we maintain a standard set of interfaces, we can swap different GNC algorithms in and out seamlessly. This simplifies algorithm benchmarking and allows SkyMaster to be used on different types of aerial vehicles. The next step is automatic generation of embedded code from the GNC model. We simply click the build button and wait until completion. The benefits of the single click cannot be overstated. All the complex heavy lifting is done in a matter of seconds. Further, this process ensures that the algorithm running in the simulation is equivalent to the algorithm running on board the aircraft. Next, we copy the generated files over to the SkyMaster project and compile. Here, we can see the GNC function placeholder in the main file, which calls the generated code. We now upload the executable to SkyMaster and do some last-minute ground-based tests. This includes checking the manual radio link, checking the status submit on the ground station, and then engaging autonomous mode to check the response. Here, we can see the ailerons compensating for the rolling motion. Now it's time to test the system in the field. Here, the UAV is implementing a non-linear guidance algorithm to follow a Dubin's path while maintaining a commanded altitude and airspeed, all with full autonomy. It should be noted that problems during flight testing have been minimal, and the minor issues we did encounter were able to be recreated in the simulation, fixed in simulation, uploaded to the aircraft, and fixed on the aircraft, all within the space of an afternoon. Without this rapid development framework, this debugging process would have likely required an unproductive trip back to the lab. After the flight, a series of MATLAB scripts automatically analyze and display the flight data. This even includes automatic generation of KML files for visualization in Google Earth. Further, the flight data can even be used to replay the mission in Simulink. So what's next? Well, what better way to demonstrate the fast benefits of Simulink than with multi-UAV autonomous formation flights at separations which have not previously been attempted. Finally, I'd like to express my gratitude to my supervisor, Dr. Alec Togan, Dr. Jeremy Randall for acting as a safety pilot, 
and the Australian Research Council for supporting this work. Thank you for listening.